Hello everyone, I'm Estee from the YouTube channel Essie Button and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my dry hair because my hair is very dry. I've always had dry hair. I don't know why. I guess it's probably from years of being mean to it. I've bleached my hair, I've, you know, straightening hair, styling it all the time and my hair is just dry most of the time. When your hair is really dry it can be hard to kind of make it look good because it always has that dry look to it. But in today's video I'll show you a couple of products that I find really help with that and just help make my hair a little bit smoother and a little bit shinier and all of those things. So the first thing I want to talk about is a shampoo and conditioner. These are the Dove Nutritive Solutions Nourishing Oil Care Shampoo and Conditioner. I really like the bottles of these. I think they're really nice. I love these because they're very rich and they're very nourishing in my hair and even when I'm washing my hair it doesn't feel like it's stripping my hair of its natural oils. It just kind of hydrates but also washes at the same time and the conditioner is also really good because it's rich but it's not too heavy and it doesn't weigh the hair down and I get really tangly hair and this conditioner is really good for helping detangle in the shower so that's really good. About once a week it's nice to use something for a little extra nourishment and I really like this. It's also by the same Dove range and it's the Nutritive Solutions Nourishing Oil Care Express Treatment Conditioner. So like I said I use this one about once a week instead of using this one so I just ignore this one and I use this one instead once a week. This is quite similar to the regular conditioner but it's even more nourishing and whenever I use this my hair looks and feels super super soft. After I wash my hair I just take a little bit of this and massage it into my hair and I really concentrate on the ends because that's the area of my hair that can get extra extra dry. I find when I condition my hair well the frizziness just dies down and it just helps make everything look a lot more smooth. Those were some tips for in the shower, but what about when you get out of the shower? So I love to use a leave-in conditioner. Like I said, I've got really tangly hair, so I find when I spritz in a leave-in conditioner, it helps throughout the day to just keep my hair, you know, nice and detangled. This is the Dove Intensive Repair Leave-In Conditioning and Care Spray. Now, I really like this because I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of separated into two sections. So you shake it up and then it turns all white. I just, I, I just really enjoy products that have the multi-layer thing. So usually when my hair is damp and I just take it out of the towel, I spray a little bit of this in before I brush it and it just helps with the detangling and it also gives it a little extra moisture because when you have dry hair, you need to do that. If you're having a dry hair crisis throughout the day, you can even spray this in dry hair. So sometimes I'll just spray it right into the tips of my hair just to just, you know, help sort things out a bit. This is a really good one if you want to make your hair feel a little bit more fresh and a lot more soft. If you're like me, you love to use a little bit of heat on the hair, whether it's blow drying your hair, straightening, curling, whatever it is you're doing to your hair, trust me, I have done it all. And it's really important to use a heat protector, so anytime you're going to be using heat on your hair, make sure you spray your hair with some sort of a heat protector. The one I use quite a bit is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protection Shine Spray. That's a very big tongue twister. Heat Protection Shine Spray. It only takes about two seconds to quickly spritz your hair with a heat protector and it really makes a difference in protecting your hair because it's always nice to have a little barrier between the heat and your hair and this is that barrier. So those were just a couple of dry hair tips. I hope you found it useful. Let me know in the comments down below what you use if you've got dry hair, if you have any tips or anything that I missed out. If you like this video, of course you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more hair related videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye!